Well, they still were energized. Uh, we had a lot of good uh, competition going on. We had probably this week was really a little bit more situational football, a lot more third down, short yardage. We kind of went to the backed up, coming out. Uh, so a lot of different situation, goal line, things that we kind of went over here this whole week just to get the first opportunity or second opportunity that we've had in those areas and trying to work on some of those things. Some of it's personnel we're trying to look at. Some of it is scheme-wise. Do we want to make some adjustments? So it was a, a lot of good work. And uh, again, we got a lot, a lot, a long way to go, but uh, there's a lot of things accomplished. And we're closing in on a little bit of more of uh, who are the people that we're planning on playing with this year. What's the biggest um, improvement you've seen from last week to this week? I, Position-wise, or just in general, on the offense and defense, uh, I probably say D-line. A little bit of the secondaries have uh, been fairly consistent. I think our receivers have improved in the blocking uh, aspect of it. We really have emphasized that as far as them being able to block in the run game, block in the passing game, as far as some of the perimeter screens that we may run. Uh, so I think those three or four areas is where we've improved. Uh, we still got to improve every every day and every week. Uh, but those are some of the things that are going on. I like the way our coaching staff is coaching and teaching. Uh, I see some good development uh, here in about two weeks of seeing some guys improve. And that's all you ask for. You just want to see some people improve each and every day. How is Stefan stepping up to his new role? And how does his game differ from Wardrums? Stefan is uh, uh, doing a great job with our offense. Uh, he's really understanding, it, and that was he was really the main reason why we maybe made a little bit of the adjustment uh, doing uh, no huddle. Um, he can run the ball. Uh, he can throw the ball. Uh, that would be the difference as far as being able to, to run the ball a little bit more with him versus what we did with Josh. And uh, so he can throw the ball well down the field, and I think he has a good attributes about him. Uh, now it's his turn to uh, see can he uh, run the show. A little bit of rain this morning. Did that affect any of the practice today? No, not at all. Uh, actually, it was good. Uh, it gave us a kind of an opportunity to have uh, a force playing with a wet football and uh, seeing how we handle that in the kicking game, how we handle that as far as on the offensive side of the ball. And so it was good work. Uh, we didn't have to kind of invent. <laughs> Sometimes we have to invent the rain when we got there throwing water on them and stuff of that nature. So it was a good experience for us to have that uh, come, come about. To open up against a team like Virginia Tech, do you guys prepare any differently than you normally would facing a different opponent? No, no, not at all. Uh, we don't want to see that any more different. Uh, we always talk about that to our team, that every game is really the same to a certain extent. That is that your preparation, you, you have to do that. You have to understand what they do, why they do it, and we explain that, and then you just got to execute. Uh, again, they're human beings just like us, and we have to go out and play our best football game and, and try to accomplish some excitement about what we're doing and uh, being able to execute. So it's all about execution. I don't care who you're playing, what the name is. We've got to execute at a higher level uh, as far as playing Virginia Tech. They're an excellent football program, excellent football team. Uh, obviously, they've changed a little bit of coaching staff and all that, so there might be some things that we may not be aware that they may be doing or not doing. But again, that's why you always have your uh, technique down. If you have your technique down, then it doesn't matter whether you've seen maybe what they uh, haven't done, and they now your first time seeing if you have your technique, then you'll be able to execute. Three or four wide receivers that um, you know returning, played a lot of football the last year, last few years. Um, are you pleased with the progress they've shown this camp, and then also some of the guys behind them? Are you pleased with the depth you've been able to um, get at the wide receiver spot? I like what we're seeing here in the receiver spot. Uh, you know, I think Farrell is definitely going to be a guy that's going to be a go-to guy there. We got Dante Shells back. We got uh, Parker back, Zach Parker. So all three of those guys have played a whole lot of football for us. Damian King, is a guy that's a, a sophomore now, played as a true freshman last year, and we expect him to be very, very exciting for us this year. We got Marquise Fitzgerald uh, has come into play a little bit, and he's doing some good things. Um, we got Kyle Carrington, a guy who redshirted last year, and he's going to have an opportunity to play. I anticipate we're, we're going to find out here after this Saturday um, as far as a, a freshman that may be playing, Antonio Golden Gandy is a possibility that's a guy that may not redshirt. Uh, we're still going to evaluate that, but he's doing some positive things. And uh, so receiving core, I think we're probably going to be as good as we have been. If you talk about it as a group, you know, we, we've had some individuals that have been pretty good, but I think this is probably be the overall best group potentially, and we'll see how they respond as we play in the games. Farrow, how does he show himself as a leader, and how is he specifically going to be a threat in that wide receiver core? Excellent hands. Uh, not much of a talker, uh, but he demonstrates that all by just by going out and doing his job and doing it well. Uh, he's a willing blocker. Uh, he's a willing guy to go up and go catch the football. He's a guy that runs really good routes, 
um, and he just has excellent hands. So he is leading by truly by example, and uh, that's what we love about him. So it's a great opportunity to have him in and him having him on our team, and it's going to be exciting to watch him play a lot of good football. Coach, with uh, Buckshot, I know that you had mentioned in the scrimmage he only had four or five plays, but he had a couple touchdown passes. I know Stefan's been named the starter, but is there anything that could happen in fall camp that maybe – Makes you kind of rethink the quarterback position at all? No, uh, Stefan's going to be our starter going in this football game. That that's nothing going to change. Uh, you know, if uh, Buckshot or Stephen Calvert continues to do well and all that, uh, uh, I really believe that uh, it's going to be an exciting opportunity there for Stefan. Very very good quarterback. He's done a lot of good things as far as that goes. So that won't change anything. Have you decided whether you're going to redshirt one of the two uh, true freshmen you recruited, or try to keep all of them available in case of injury? Uh, I think we'll we'll redshirt one of them. Uh, that's the plan. Uh, you know, things can change as we all know. You go into things, get injuries, and all those kind of things. We do. We only have four guys on our roster right now, quarterbacks, um, and so you like to keep three of them active and all those things. But uh, again, like I said, some injuries start to occur. You you may have to do that. But right now, going into it, we will plan on redshirting one of them. Offense. Offensive line-wise, have you narrowed down the 10 and especially the 6 from center to right tackle, or is that going to be something you're going to look at? This uh, we have not solidified that. Um, that's going to probably go on all the way up until the, the game week. It, it may not happen even right until to game time, per se, as far as the starters. Uh, again, there's still some battles going on that we're still trying to figure all out, and uh, it's good to have quite a few people that we have that we feel good about is now trying to find out the best matchup that we can have to give us the best success. Looking at your roster, a lot of Southwest Virginia talent. Do you look to recruit kind of close by, or is that where the talent is? Well, we recruit uh, definitely in the state of Virginia. Uh, I think our high school coaches here in the state of Virginia do a fantastic job of coaching and teaching and developing young men. And so we always want to get people close to home. And obviously it helps the fans being around this area. They're going to come to the game more and all that. But again, we do a great job of traveling as far as our fans. But uh, again, we go where they're at, particularly here in the state of Virginia. Uh, again, everybody all over the country comes and recruits in the state of Virginia. So we know we have a lot of good, talented people here. How's Prover looking? Probert uh, doing pretty good. Uh, you know, it'd be great. We put him in some situations. Um, uh, I think it was Thursday that maybe we had a, uh, put him in a crucial situation there as far as um, just called him out right out of the blue and had an opportunity to go a 47 yard field goal and um, kind of put it the, the team in a little bit of stress there as far as, uh, hey, you, um, you make it. Uh, nobody runs. If you miss it, then everybody runs. And we had a little extra things going on there, and he nailed it. So we're going to put him in some of those situations throughout the time, and he's answered so far at this time. Uh, we all know it's still going to be game time to see how he responds. But he, uh, I'm very pleased with him. Uh, kickoffs, uh, he has a good leg and all that. He has good height. Um, so very pleased. We're very blessed to have him. I think he's going to be a talented young man. You still having the off-campus scrimmage tomorrow, and if so, what are you hoping to get accomplished there? Yeah, we're going off campus a little bit to kind of simulate a little bit of the uh, away game, if you want to call it that. We kind of go through a little bit of that procedure with everybody, our equipment people, our trainers, and pack everything up and, and just kind of go through that little run. And then uh, that time when we go to Virginia Tech, everybody's kind of done it because sometimes you have some new people, new people on our football team that haven't done it. And so uh, that's good for us to have that simulation. Then just kind of go over there and to have a good time and, and see how we respond. Obviously, you're focused on your own team in fall camp, but how much are you kind of keeping an eye on Blacksburg as well and what they're doing, especially with their quarterback situation? Uh, I hadn't really thoroughly looked into all that at this point in time, uh, really focusing on our team. Uh, you know, next week we'll kind of get going zeroing in specifically, preparing for them, start scheming, doing those kind of things of that nature. So I got enough going on here to try to take care of my football team and get them ready to play. What's Thomas Kennedy's role on the offense this year? Will he, you know, get a lot of time in there? Is he improving? Oh, he's going to be very instrumental. Uh, uh, he's been very, very durable. Um, we have some great uh, opportunities to uh, explore with him on our offensive side of the ball, a little bit different than what we have done in the past. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him uh, reach those things. And uh, he's very versatile. Um, so it's going to be exciting for him. I know he's excited to play a lot more football. And we just got to hopefully he stays healthy. He's going to be a key person on our offensive side of the ball uh, to be able to move the football.